What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we are looking at how to order and compare numbers. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to start by ordering this set of numbers here. And we're going to follow these steps that we've got written across the top. And the first step says to label our numbers. And then step two says compare from the largest value first or the highest value first. So step one says label your numbers. Well, what does that mean? Well, every number sits in a place value column. In this case, starting with our ones, then our tens, our hundreds, then we have thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and we actually have millions as well. And understanding that is gonna get us most of the way through this lesson. The other thing that's really important is to understand that the further that our numbers go to the left, the greater the value of that column. Tens are bigger than ones, hundreds are bigger than tens, thousands are bigger than hundreds, and so on and so on. Therefore, for example, everything in this millions column obviously has a much bigger value than everything in the ones column. So even though in this case we have a two in each column, they do not hold the same value. This two in the ones column is simply a two, whereas the two in the millions column holds the value of two million, much greater. So now we can look at step two, which says to compare from the highest value first. And as we discussed, everything over on this left-hand side has the highest value. So in this case, our highest value is actually on the millions column. And as today we are looking from the smallest to the largest, which we call the ascending order, the opposite from largest to smallest is the descending order. So this is the ascending order. And because we're looking for the smallest, I'm looking for the smallest value in this millions column. Well, I have a two, a two, a three, a three, and a four. So obviously my two twos are the smallest value. But which of these first two numbers is the smallest? Well, we both have a two in the millions column, so I need to look at my hundreds thousands, and we actually both have a four. Look in my ten thousands, we both have a five. Look in my thousands, both have a two. Look in my hundreds, they both have a nine. Ah, but look. Now in my tens column, I can see I have a four and a three. And remember, I'm looking for the smallest value, so therefore this three holds a smaller value than the four, so it doesn't matter what goes on now in my ones column, we know automatically that this number here must be smaller. So my smallest number out of this set is 2,452,950. And now I know as well that this must be my second smallest number because remember they were the only ones that had two in the million column. So my next smallest will be 2,452,942. And I can cross these two numbers off. Now I'm looking for the next number, the next smallest. So I'll start back at my millions column and I can see I have threes and four. So I'm interested in these threes. I'll look at their hundred thousands and I can see we have a five and a five, a seven and a seven, but ah, now I have a four and a three. So again, which one has the smallest value? Well, it's gonna be this three. And like we said before, it now doesn't matter what's happening after this three in the hundreds, tens and ones columns because this three will automatically make it smaller than the four because this set of numbers can only ever get up to 3,999 whereas this set of numbers will start at 4,000, which will be larger. So my next smallest number will be this one just here, which is 3,573,932. And again, just like before, now I know that this one must be my next smallest at 3,574,532. And that only leaves me one last one, which is 4 million, 113,932. And now a good tip now that we've organized them is just to double check by just looking at our numbers in this sequence and just check that we know that they are in the right order. And in this case, yes they are. Okay, so that's ordering numbers. Now let's have a look at comparing numbers. So I've got these two numbers here that I want to compare. And at the minute I've got this versus sign here, but I'm gonna replace that with my comparison signs in a minute, which are greater than, less than, or equal to. And I'm gonna decide which one of these is gonna slot into that versus position. So remember the first step, label the numbers. So I'm gonna do that now. Boom, there we go. And now all we're gonna do is follow step two, which says compare from the highest value first. I'm gonna look at the first column, the millions columns, and I can see that we both have a two. So that doesn't help us. 
but straight away in the hundred thousands column I can see a three and I can see a four which one has the greater value so in order to compare them I'm going to decide which one is larger which one is smaller and obviously the three has a smaller value so again it doesn't matter what happens after the three this number will always be smaller than this number because the four has a greater value in the hundred thousands column therefore my versus sign here is going to be swapped to a less than symbol 2,352,932 is less than 2,452,942 and there we go that is everything you need to know about ordering and comparing numbers let's have a last think about what to remember first we're going to label our numbers this is really going to help us make sure we understand what number is in what value column then we're going to begin to compare starting with the largest value and remember that ascending means that our numbers get bigger and descending means that our numbers get smaller okay here's a little set for you to order put them from smallest to largest if you want to you can put the answers into the comment section i'm going to try and mark every single one press pause on the video now good luck and there you go that is ordering and comparing numbers hopefully this video has been helpful for you if it has think about liking and subscribing to the channel i'm going to see you in another video but now peace out